You have entered the Chronix Rabbit Hole. And Varen Carol, thank you so much for your Patreon membership request. You are bringing something new down the Rabbit Hole by the name of The Last of Us Part 1 and 2. The main themes from both of them back to back in one video for you and the Chronicans. Thank you so much, Varen Carol, for bringing The Last of Us main theme 1 and 2 down the Rabbit Hole. Ben and Kiro, thank you so much for bringing The Last of Us theme song down the rabbit hole for the first time. I'm so excited to get into this. I think I may have dabbled in this game as a child here and there, but not enough to actually know much of what's going on with it, hmm. just other than being another zombie-esque style video game. So I am really excited to get into this. I'm not a big zombie person myself, but... There's no way to live in this world without having The Last of Us mentioned to you at all because it is at such a top tier for the zombie genre. I'm really excited to get into The Last of Us and to see what this amazing theme song is going to be and to see how it's going to play out. And if you guys are as excited to be here with us as we are, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more Enter the Chronicness. Chronicans, let us know if you have played The Last of Us Part 1 or 2 in the comments below. Varen Carroll, I share my love with you for The Last of Us. I have played The Last of Us Part 1. It's the only game to make me cry as an adult. That's huge on my list, and I've never played number two, and it is way more than just a zombie game. I can promise you that. There's a reason <laughs> why they just did a whole show on HBO for The Last of Us that we should definitely go check on our own mm -hmm. time as well. But without further ado, I'm very excited to hear the theme song for this one, and especially for number two, since I haven't heard it before. All right, starting with the first. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, honey. Yep. Gustavo San Teolala, someone did it. Such a Wild West feel. It's awesome to hear that Foley and isolated. 
That was really cool. I always find it interesting, I don't know what you think about this, but how perfectly seamless zombies in the the Wild West almost feels like. Yeah. Like, and, like, they had, obviously, like, the picking going in there, like, the Wild West, but that kind of what it becomes like once the zombie apocalypse comes on is everyone for themselves because mm -hmm. some of the scariest people in the game is actually some of the factions of humans that form because of the end of the world type of feel that then some of them become cannibalistic, some of them become just steal everything, and, like, mm -hmm. so there's that, there's that doom, but beauty of that acoustic that, like, it just, it shot the whole game through my system hearing that so uh, it just gave a lot of good nostalgia and that for a game to make me cry for sadness and happiness it's one of the best experiences ever and this theme does a good job embodying it i haven't played this game through and through like i've said i've kind of dabbled so it's more been like you know um going over to a friend's house like hey try this game out type idea or like watch them play. or like watch them play a little bit and um I've never heard the theme, this theme song at all in its, or even in its entirety. And this is gorgeous. Yeah. It was giving me like walking dead vibe. That's exactly right? it. Right. Because like these types of games, um, movies, shows, whatever was within this genre all tends to have that same wild west feel. Like you're saying it does. where it is that constant picking. So it's like the time that keeps moving on and going forward because time will keep going even if you're walking in the gravel waiting for that next thing to happen even if you die the time will keep going and that yep. picking will continue on right so like that's what i was picking up i like that it was so beautifully done yeah and like it might be one of my favorite songs from a video game that doesn't sound like metal as well mm -hmm. and there's just there was so much like emotion coming out of this song so i'm really excited to see what the last of us part two's theme song sounds like because the game ends with such a with so much animosity that it could go either way and i don't know how it goes so i'm excited yeah. to see how the theme actually sounds to tell me how the mood switched without Absolutely. further ado here's part two it's by gustavo again Pecking. It's so spacey and like jaggedy and almost like yeah. eerie. It's like there's not a real like chorus or reverse or rhythm. It's like kind of just seeming like it's just shooting in different direction this whole time. It's very chaotic, but it's, it's still beautiful. It's crazy listening to this and seeing her photo yeah. and what's kind of going on because it shows the pain of what happened during the first one. Yeah. Perfectly with how space it's carried it over. It's very carried over. It's a very Spanish guitar kind yeah. of feel with yeah. it. And um, I'm loving how they have like some other instruments, like a lot of different bass instruments. It almost sounded like a bassoon or or even like an oboe or something in the yeah. background. Um, so like it, it's awesome that they're doing more than just, you know, a guitar. Mm hmm. Or more than just, you know, the, the traditional instruments that you'd expect to kind of see, at least in North America. 
uh, it gorgeous. It sounds beautiful. Yeah, and I'm I'm happy that they brought the acoustic back because it is part two, and it kind of makes it feel like somewhat mm-hmm. the same theme, but just a little hardened. And you can sure see how Ellie has switched from the first picture to this one. Blood's on the face, yeah. the grin's out, the innocence is gone, and makes me want to play the second game pretty bad here. All right, you good? I'm good. Okay. talking about I, I like the second half of that song a lot better too and it felt like it finished so i wonder how the game ends if it like actually finishes the story and all that too if it actually brings it all together and let us know if you want us to start reacting to that the last of us show too because that's mm-hmm. been a show we've really wanted to do we've been thinking about a show to start trying to react to and that might be one because um having those two theme songs it's just it's such a nice mood it, it it calms you down it and, it, and it brings anticipation to what's going to happen and the space between all those picks though it keeps moving forward it just feels like a trek it's an adventure we don't know where we're going and it makes me want to see where we're going from listening to the two of these together the first one was that trek of where are we going what are we getting into it's the dad and the daughter like you saw in the um unless you know the image. name <laughs> but there was the I'm assuming the dad and the daughter it's a good assumption <laughs> <laughs> now I'm questioning it all you should but, play it or watch it <laughs> <laughs> but um, there was the two people <laughs> and when they're going through and that trek that's kind of happening mm-hmm. um, and the Like, you definitely got that where are we going, this adventure, this journey, but it's like that dark journey where you don't really know what's about to come. Yeah. Especially kind of knowing that there's like zombies and factions. Oh, it's chaotic. There's no way to pick what you're really going to do. Absolutely. So, like, I definitely get that. The second one, I mean, in the first video that we listened to, in the second one, it was just her in the imagery. And I don't know the ending, I don't know what happened, but just how it came back with all that space and that um almost it was like it wasn't as chaotic in a sense it was very brought together it was very like okay here's my plan this is what i'm doing this is what's happening this is the execution of everything that's going to happen yeah going forward and it was almost like a return of vengeance almost and that's what i was getting from it that that it um, would make sense that return of vengeance that um this is what's planned out. This is where I'm going. This is how I'm going to execute it. And I'm going to make sure that I finish this or die trying. And that's where I'm getting just from listening to the music again without playing any but of powerful. the powerful, yeah. I think so it is very portraying powerful. that, right? It, and if that is kind of what happens it, within the games, in a sense, even at a vague point, mm-hmm. it shows just how well um, Gustavo is yeah. at orchestrating his music to tell a story to get those emotions out and a spanish guitar like with that picking Mm -hmm. is such an amazing way to get those emotions out and to tell a story because you're able to do so much even at its simplicity and very often less is more in these types of situations and in this type of music 
because you're able to do more with less instruments. I'm with you there, and I don't want to spoil anything for what happens at the end of the first game, but seeing how that second theme song went it makes me think of the second game kind of started playing mm -hmm. out there and to only see ellie there kind of makes me think what happened so i'm really excited to play this game one day baron Carol, i know you want us to be playing it so maybe one day we will get there but we hope you all enjoyed these two theme songs beautiful acoustic guitar we love it here and if you did have a good time let us know by hitting that like button because we are now exiting the rabbit hole folks Thank you so much, Vet and Kiddo, for bringing this down the rabbit hole. This was beautifully done. Definitely has brought up the anticipation and is getting me thinking about what this is actually about. Because I've always just chopped it up to just another zombie game. Hell no. And I'm being told it's not. So. <laughs> Masterpiece. I am so happy you brought this down the rabbit hole. Peace and love, everyone. God bless y'all. Take care and bye for now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Enter the Chronicness. Special thanks to all of our YouTube, Patreon, and Buy Me a Coffee members. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you all so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. If you had a good time and you are new to the channel and you don't want to miss the next one, here is a very easy way that you can make it to our next one by hitting the subscribe button. If you liked what you heard on this video and you want to support this artist, then an easy way to do that is going right here. And I think we have a really good video for you right here that we think you will enjoy. Thank you all so much. See you next time.